Hey there, friends. Welcome or welcome back to the Teal Pumpkin. Today we are going to Home Goods to check out if they have any fall decor for 2024. And they actually did. I was so excited to go in and see a few bits and pieces here of fall. So we're starting out here in this little area. They had a whole bunch of pumpkins. I am noticing a theme here with lots of the green. I'm liking these darker colors of green and I think that these glass pumpkins are very pretty. That clear pumpkin is very nice. That is $14.99. And this pretty color sage green is also $14.99. And how about these mushrooms? This wicker style mushroom was $12.99. And I'm happy to say that mushrooms are back in style this year. I did not get into them last year and I've yet to jump on the bandwagon with them this year, but I do think they are cute. And these caught my eye. I thought this sugar and this little creamer were so cute. These were each $4.99. And yet again, I'm captivated by the mushrooms. There is a really cute mushroom coffee mug and that might have to come home with me one day soon. And let's talk about these really nice wicker type pumpkins. This one is a double stacked pumpkin that is connected. It is $24.99. Then they had this pumpkin. It had three pumpkins stacked together, $59.99. It was rather large and it kind of had a little bit of a shimmer to it very very cute and for the price and how tall it was I feel it was a good deal then they had the single pumpkin this would look great in anybody's home it would look especially good with anybody who does the coastal or maybe just neutrals and this is a great pumpkin here this is a great dupe for the pottery barn pumpkins that were out last year that everyone was doing. This was $24.99 and I actually did bring this guy home. And here is the pumpkin that matches the jack-o-lantern. That would look great styled together. These three pumpkins stacked here at $12.99 would look perfect on your mantle or styled on your dining room table. And as usual, Home Goods does not disappoint. They have a little bit of something for everybody. If you're into that glam look, they have that. They also have these princess looking pumpkins, as I like to call them. They've had these out for several years now. I think they are very pretty. Comment down below. Let me know how you guys style for fall at your home? Do you prefer the glam look, the neutral look, the traditional look, the blue and white look? Um, I'm 
not quite sure what I'm doing this year. I have picked up a few things, but I'm still in the process of trying to figure out what I want to do. friends thanks so much for sticking around till the end to see my haul that i picked up from home goods and these are the items that i picked up i picked up this really pretty woven rattan type pumpkin it's stacked and these are glued together or tied together and this is what the inside looks like this was $24.99, and I was thinking that this might look really good styled by my fireplace. So I'm gonna take you on a field trip over into my living room and show you just a basic view of it and how, um, how, I, how it's gonna look. So let's travel over to the living room. So I'm just going to move this for the time being. 
and this is just what I was thinking in my head. Um, now I'm not 100% sure that it's going to stay there, but um, I was thinking it might look good there. Of course, I will probably tie a little ribbon around here, but that is option number one. And I think option number two could possibly be um, on my dining room table. I'm not 100% sure. Again, um, I'm not ready to even start decorating for fall yet, guys, but I just thought that this would be a fun way to start looking at different items and think about where to possibly put them in my home. And here is number two. This is the terracotta pot or pumpkin <laughs> that was at Home Goods. I did show this and this is a great dupe for the Pottery Barn one that they had last year. I know a lot of people were making them with the flower and I feel like this is already made. It was $24.99. It's a large size and uh, I'm just gonna show how I'm going to possibly style it. Again, it could go on my dining room table it could possibly go on my mantle or on my um, hearth of my fireplace. I'm just not sure, but just to give you an idea, let's see how it looks on my dining table. And here is the jack-o'-lantern, and this is so cute. You could turn it around and use it this way and then nobody would know it was a jack-o'-lantern and then when you're ready for Halloween you can turn it back this way but I thought both of these were really really cute and I think I'm going to enjoy them for the upcoming fall season. Okay, the next item I'm going to show you. I picked up these pretty chocolate brown colored glasses from Ikea. I went into Ikea and I did take some footage for you, but there really wasn't a whole lot of fall out. So I'll probably just maybe do a short or maybe just post it on my Instagram, the items that I did find. But we picked up these, they were four in a pack. So I got two packs, which is eight glasses, and they were $2.99 per pack. So that was such a good deal. I think that I'm going to probably style them on my shelf in my dining room. I think that might look really pretty in uh, with all the fall colors that I'm going to be using. So stay tuned for that. Okay, just to recap, here are the items that I picked up. These chocolate brown juice glasses, again, were from Ikea. Then I picked up this jack-o'-lantern. It's faced the opposite direction, the pumpkin. And then I have these wicker woven um, double stacked pumpkins. Okay, that is going to do it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed shopping with me at Home Goods today. I had a really nice time shopping and looking around at all of the fall items. Remember, you don't have to go out and buy the newest thing every season. You can always shop your home. And I just want to thank you all. I was at 2000 and then I guess my son said I was too boastful. I was not meaning to be boastful at all. I was just really excited 
to have reached 2,000 and um, <laughs> then I got knocked back down to uh, 1,995 and I've yet to get back to 2,000, but that's okay. You know, these are just little milestones that are fun to make and it makes me feel good because I know that people are watching me and I'm not just wasting my time talking to my camera. So I really appreciate you all so much for watching me and subscribing and all that good stuff. So with that, I'm going to close down my video. I hope that you all will stay safe and I'm probably going to have a bonus video coming out very soon and uh, just stay tuned, look on the community tabs and you will see what day that I will post that. Sorry for being so chatty. Again, thank you. I appreciate you more than you know, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.